One, two, three. Hello, owners of old Honda, Toyota, and Nissan. If you start your car and your engine revs up and down, this technometer goes up and down when the car warm up for a couple minutes. Your problem is with your idle controller valve. Follow me into the engine bay. To check the idle controller valve before you you check your idle controller valve, just uh, you must have a good level of coolant. Never open this when it's hot. You will get burned. Uh, don't look fa face to it. Don't look into the into the coolant. Again, never open this anyway. Just open this, check if uh, the min-max level is okay, either it's on either side. This is the coolant to cool the engine down. Um, that's fine. The level is fine. If it's not fine, fill it and then start the car again. See if it goes up and down. If, if that's fine, then you would come over here. This happened to be a year 2000 Honda Accord. You will come over here to your air intake valve that goes into your throttle body. You will release this screw with a Phillips screwdriver you release it and then just wiggle it out come out so uh, when it comes out while the engine's running and your idle still goes up and down close this hole this hole here with your hand if you close it and then the engine settle out and stop going up and down that means your problem is with your idle controller valve which which locate in the bottom of here and I already took it out which is here so in order to take this guy out from the bottom of here you must take the throttle body out throttle bottle out throttle body out um, to take this out you're gonna need a 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter socket with an extension about this long and a ratchet to take this two bolt out from the top of here and this two bolt out from one here and one here in the bottom you can't really see you have to go in the angle and feel for it so two four and those four comes out you must disconnect the electronic wire here and then disconnect this electronic wire to this idle controller valve there's two there's top and bottom and then another one underneath that goes to the idle controller valve itself so disconnect that one two three wire four bulbs and then uh, this will come out like so when this come out like oh sorry and then another tube down here the uh, cooling tube that cools it down that goes to this here you're gonna need to clip that in push it down and then with some kind of ply hold this and wiggle it down or just push it down with your hand and then uh, this will have to come out from the side of the of the um, the air intake there's two holes here the vacuum hose so this comes out, this comes out, and you will spin it upside down like so. When you have it upside down, you will have a screw. There will be two screws holding the idle controller valve, which is here and here. Two screws like this long. Okay. You take this guy out, take this guy out out with the Phillips screwdriver sometimes you have a hard time you're gonna need one of these to clip it and then turn it okay so that will come out like so when it comes out there's a gasket in between don't lose this gasket so you take this gasket out and most of the time the problem is with the the flaps here that doesn't open up and down doesn't uh, doesn't open and close it stays stuck so you're gonna need a brake part brake parts cleaner here at um, any store any brake parts cleaner spray them here sit, let it sit for like 20 minutes half an hour or so then use a 
either a paintbrush or a toothbrush, any house, high, household item brush or the baby bottle brush, which in this case are my Olivia and Chloe baby bottle brush that I don't use anymore. Or I might reuse it. <laughs> Kidding. So um, you go in there, clean it up, spray it in there, and loosen it. Um, that flap should goes up and down. Then use a little bit of WD-40 to spray into that hole back there and that hole back there to loosen it up. Um, then uh, the installment is reversed. So you know you put your this back on, this guy back on, and then reverse of everything. And um, that's about it. And it should work. If it doesn't work, then because the electronic piece here might might be bad. And then you might have to order, uh, order the whole thing. This pipe, this one's between $50 and $225, depending on the, the brand and the and where you get it from. But um, to clean it first is is a uh, is an easy job, and usually clean it does the does the trick. It's just got stuck with all the crud in there, the build up carbon. So um, anyway, long story short, again, year 2000 Honda Accord is what I'm working with. It's common problem with old car, like Honda, Toyota, and Nissan with the idle controller valve uh, being stuck open or the electronic part itself, it, it failed. So to take it out is you have to check your coolant first. Coolant level is good. You will move on to take your ear intake hose out and then close the bottom port of the throttle body when you close that with your finger while the car is running and um, the, the rev stops your problem your problem is high likely is this part which is control underneath here and you just gotta take the the electronic part out one two three different car has different electronic connection um, and then the four bulbs after the four bulbs then the two coolant line ones in the bottom ones in the side and then the two vacuum hose that's connect to the the uh, intake um, not the intake the um, yeah the intake um, ear valve here so that out and then you, you pull them all out, all out you turn it upside down two screw hole in these guys take these guys out and clean it real good in into these hole clean these hole also and clean the throttle body also um, and then reassemble it the throttle body is just the uh, open like so when you press on the gas to let air into the engine um, this gets gung up and bad and use this guy spray it in wipe it out the opposite side also got holes in there so that's about it good luck with the D DIY project and uh, I might save you a couple money and headache running to the mechanic takes you takes me about half an hour to do so um, thank you for watching and um, any comments leave some comment good or bad um, any video to share just share they have a bunch of video like this in YouTube but I figure um, I could help uh, make another video um, have a good day